Hi. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss about uh, setting up my own cloud desktop uh, on the Digital Ocean uh, cloud. So, uh, on a previous video, I kind of uh, demonstrated my first look uh, of Digital Ocean cloud. Uh, you know how it's easy to set up, and actually, it's cheaper than any of the other many of the other cloud providers that are you know popular these days uh, and uh, you know if I if you're looking for some like you know cloud desktop or some sort of a cloud instance of your own with a very one monthly low cost I think this is a great choice uh, actually um, uh, so I got my uh, VM instance up here which is a uh, which is an IP address which I'm logged in right now but it I, I Launched it with uh, a CentOS 6.5 um, non GUI instance. They didn't have any GUI, so I'm just gonna uh, show you how to create your own cloud desktop here uh, and then, um, yeah, see you know how you can you know make use of it when you need to. Um, so um, I SSH to my cloud right now, and there's also console access available, which is great actually. Um, if something goes wrong, I could just go into the console and do stuff, fix stuff, right? So, so I'm just gonna first install the um, GNOME uh, desktop here. Okay, uh, if I can figure out where I kept uh, maybe this one. Yeah, so these are the instructions here. Let me make it bigger uh, to install the. Sorry. Uh, too big. Install the uh, GUI with YUM. So I'm logged in with root uh, and DigitalOcean usually provide your root uh, account. So I'm just gonna, all I'm going to do is basically paste this command. Okay, so that's going to install X window system first. Okay. It's pretty fast. Then I'm going to install this. It's going to be quite a lot of packages, looks like. Um, so my plan is basically install GNOME and then enable VNC, um, you know, GNOME desktop console with the Vino server VNC, which is pretty easy to set up a few clicks away. Uh, you can do, uh, you know, uh, other VNC product uh, to the VNC server installer. Yeah, um, install VNC server, but uh, I'm not gonna go that far. In a way, you can you could basically uh, configure your VNC even further. But uh, I, mean, I think for basic usage, uh, if you're the only person using it, then Vino you know, is good enough, I think. Um, but uh, you know, they'll allow me to access it from anywhere. If I need to. And uh, so that's going pretty fast. So I have a 512 megabyte and one CPU instance here. I'll do this. Desktop now. Let's see if I can make it a little bigger. You. So good part of Mac is that you have a terminal right in front of you. Okay, it's going pretty fast. So X window system desktop and fonts. Just sometimes you know fonts is not always required, but sometimes better to install. And sometimes you might have issues with different fonts. And then once it's done, we're gonna update. Let's see, init tab, and make sure it boots to run level five, which is the GUI. By default, it's usually run level three, which I'm gonna show you.
Okay. Now, just gonna do the last one, I believe. The fonts. It's only 30 meg. Still going. <laughs> See how is my so I'm just gonna keep the console here. As many of the cloud provider doesn't give you a console, which you know I find you know kind of inconvenient sometimes if you wanna do stuff like this. But you might lose connection, or you wanna you know, play with the networking if when if you need to, which you shouldn't always. But uh, you know it's handy to have it, especially in this case, because by default it will go to console. And then, okay, so we're done. So now we're gonna update. Let's see, any tab. So this field here. Here, I'm just gonna modify it to five. Then I'm gonna reboot it. You need six, or you can just do reboot command actually. Just to make sure. You don't have to reboot all this, but I prefer reboot. Okay, so as I see, this is something they can see, you know, you can see it's booting. Okay, I see a mouse icon here. This is a forward. Uh, yes, I agree. Uh, okay, let me add an account. Uh, oh. And I can do a lot of stuff here, but this is basic uh, GNOME setup. So I'm just gonna use NTP yet, but you can do so if you want it. Just uh, go. Uh, actually, yeah, let's keep it for now. I can change those later on if I need to. It's showing Eastern Time by default, but I mean Mountain Time. Okay, voila. I have my cloud desktop here. Okay. There you go. So now, what I can do is I can change the resolution a little bit, not too much, because it doesn't work with resolution. That's something probably I should learn. I'm going to choose 1280 by 800. Keep this configuration right so that's done now. What I'm going to do is go to preferences and go to remote desktop, and that's why I can set the VNC like so. It is uh, very basic actually, that's the default VNC. So you can allow users control. Uh, oh, that's me. I had another connection open already from different because uh, I used this VM before, so just gonna refuse for now. Close it. I'm just gonna quit. I had a client open already. Uh, well, I could just keep for now, but it's up to you. Uh, got a password? Yes, definitely. I basically keep it like this and. It close right 
Um, as you can see, some part of it is cut out here, which I cannot see in the console. Um, no, now I'm gonna use a VNC view, or you can use a real VNC, tight VNC. You know, if you look in the Google uh, VNC viewer, a wide range of you know, real VNC. You can, if you're a Windows machine, you can just you know go there and download the Windows VNC viewer here. Other products are there as well, free. Uh, VNC viewer is not that, that uh, tough to find. Even tablets have now iOS and Android have VNC viewer right now. So. I have this one that I basically uh, you know, install. This is a free one as well. So well, I can just put in my IP address and hit open. And I'll just put password. Voila, I'm on my cloud desktop now. Right? Uh, so I can, you know, a lot of stuff. So now the, the sad part is it didn't install Office, right? So if you want to have your own open Office, you can do so. If you just search, uh, there is a good page here. Installing GNOME on CentOS. There are some Office packages that you can install. This this page here uh, you know, explains if you can, you know, install different suits here. And for Office, I'm just gonna do group. I want to open uh, LibreOffice, right? And I can install those here as well. Sorry. And sorry, I got disconnected. So it's times out at some point. I'm just gonna connect again. In fact, I should be able to copy and paste this here in this terminal here, because since I'm using VNC, it allows uh, clipboards. Right. Uh, right. I can. Uh, oh, okay. That's my VNC viewer. Maybe I think. Uh, 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 that might be a bug with the VNC viewer that I have, but I'll do it here. If you use a different VNC viewer, it might be. Okay, let me try this. So now it's going to install LibreOffice, which can take quite a while. And once I have it installed, I can, you know, have my own office. Uh, I can have, uh, you know, uh, internet browser. It doesn't come with internet browser, the default one. It's a minimal desktop if you want, but I can install internet browser here, you know, make it bigger for you. So once you do this, before you even do all that, and you can do all sorts of things. You can do internet browser, right? Thanks to this uh, article, actually. Whoever has it, of course, a credit. And then for Office products, actually, you know, you can do all sorts of things here. I'm going to copy the whole thing here and, you know, make it a little bigger for you. You can do, you know, internet browser, and then open graphics creation tools, and you can install a lot of stops here. Uh, once I do that, you know, I have this desktop. Wherever I go, I can use this uh, desktop if I need to, um, and you know, have my own private cloud, you know, public environment. But you know, it's, at least it's just, you know, it's for myself. I can control the, I can install, you know, different applications here and play with it, and then you know. If I don't need, I can just destroy it and create another one if I need to. So, so you know, good uh, benefit actually, a lot of benefit actually with this kind of approach here. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you like the video, just subscribe to my videos. Uh, thanks for watching.